Wait, what are you doing? I'm solving the Pythagorean theorem. What's it look like I'm doing? I'm replenishing my fluids. Have you ever tested to see if your home's water comes through a lead pipe? A lead pipe? What, like include Colonel Mustard with the random question? No, like in the more than 9 million lead water lines servicing properties across the USA, according to the EPA. And considering the fact there's no safe level of exposure to lead, especially for children. And that even if your home's interior plumbing doesn't contain lead, the buried water line carrying water from the municipal water main to your house still could. I don't think I have lead pipes. Have you ever tested your pipes or water for lead content? No. Do you even know what a water service line is? No. Was your home built before 1988, prior to the Safe Drinking Water Act's prohibition of lead in public water systems and indoor plumbing? Yes. You really might have lead in your water. No way! I used to chew on my number two pencils when I was taking Scantron tests in school, so I think I should know what lead tastes like. That's... that's graphic. Whatever, and I suppose I just traipse into a hardware store and say, one lead and water testing kit, please. Uh, yeah. You help me. First, we're gonna narrow down what your pipes may be made of using a super simple magnet test. First, find your water service line coming into your house, typically in the basement where your water meter is. Grab a refrigerator magnet. Identify the test area on the pipe between the point where it comes into the building and the inlet valve. Place the magnet on the pipe. If the pipe is made of steel, it'll stick. But if the pipe is made of copper or lead, the magnet will not stick. What does it mean? Relax. It just means we need to perform the scrape test. Right. The scrape test. Grab a screwdriver. In your selected test patch, scrape the pipe with the head of the screwdriver. If the scraped portion remains a dull gray, the pipe is steel. If the scraped area is a shiny silver, the line is lead. If the scraped area is the color of a penny, the pipe is copper. Ha! Copper! See? I told you my pipes don't have lead. Wait! We're not finished. Why not finished? Because your underground pipes deeper into your freshwater delivery systems could still be lead. So? So? We need to test your water. Testing the water! Buy an at-home water testing kit at your local hardware store. Follow the instructions for the test you bought, which for ours are as follows. Wash your hands. Draw water from the cold water tap into a clean cup. Use the provided dropper to take a sample of the water from the cup. Squeeze the water into the provided vial. Gently swirl the vial for several seconds and place the vial on a flat surface. Place the testing strip into the vial with the arrows pointing downward. Let it sit undisturbed for 10 minutes. Remove the test strip from the vial and place it on a flat surface with the arrows pointing to the left. The blue line should now have appeared to indicate your results. If the left line is darker than the right line, or if only the left line is visible, your test is negative, meaning the measured lead levels are below the EPA action level. If the right line is darker than the left, or if both the right and left lines are equally dark, your water has tested positive for dangerous lead levels, and you should contact a water treatment professional and find an alternative water source in the meantime. Give it to me straight. Is my water leaded or unleaded? Good news, your water does not appear to contain lead. You are eight weeks pregnant though. We hope you've learned something valuable about the very real danger of lead in your home's fresh water supply. We try to get your attention by amusing as we educate. But the issue of lead contaminated water is anything but amusing. According to the Natural Resources Defense Council, tens of millions of Americans are at risk for the health effects of lead exposure, including hearing loss, anemia, hypertension, kidney impairment, immune system dysfunction, and other ailments. Even low levels of lead exposure can interfere with thought processes, resulting in lower IQs and attention and behavioral problems in children. If you determine you have lead in your water, take the following steps as recommended by the NRDC. Consider having a professionally administered test of your water by an independent lab, 
which you can find on the EPA website. Use only cold tap water for drinking. Flush water from the tap if it hasn't been run multiple hours. Install and use water filters that are certified to remove lead. Regularly clean faucet aerators as lead particles and sediment can collect in the aerator screen. Use only filtered or bottled water to prepare baby formula and food, and for drinking and cooking for children and pregnant or nursing women. Call your local city officials and legislators. If it's an option for you, you can consider having a licensed specialist remove and replace your lead water pipes at your own expense.